everyone, I'm Argamowicz, and welcome back to the adventures of Argama in Live 2D Land. And uh, in the last one, we've added our expressions, so we have like comfy tails and shinies and like oh, XD eyes and get out, get out, get out. Uh, angry tick marks. <laughs> um, so in uh, this episode, we're going to export it and we're going to uh, put those triggers on. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to file and you're going to go to export and it should be export as Mach 3. Wow. Oh wait, shit. Oh, I forgot. We didn't generate the atlas. Shit, I always forget that. Um, so this thing right here, we're going to generate the texture atlas. And um, I, I, hate, I hate this. I, I do. I really do. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I just auto generate and I do a nice large because I don't care. Um, I want to make sure there's space for everything. Um, like we don't have space for all this stuff. Why don't we have space for all this stuff? <laughs> the fuck is going on? like a fucking huge ass size. Um, set automatically. Allow rotation. Okay. Okay. So now what it's going to do is it's going to auto place shit. Um, and one thing you have to be careful is that you don't have things that overlap. Like right now we can see some things that are overlapping like this. Um, all right, so it's it's it usually does it pretty well. So it's so you're just gonna kind of want to take a glance through, make sure nothing's overlapping. There might be something you don't need like this. I don't need that. Get rid of that. Um, and this has is like that big mesh. So like if I did it individually, it wouldn't be as big. Um, but for example, if this was overlaying on here like that, then this face would cut into this mesh when it went to go grab it. So we want to just make sure nothing is overlaying that doesn't need to be overlaying. And if it is, just kind of like move it about to where you need it. Alright. This looks good. I'm going to hit OK. And we just let it process. Ah, it's done. Okay. <laughs> now we go to file and we go to uh, export and we're going to go export as Mach 3. Um, and I do export physics. Um, and now we didn't do animation in this one, which is fine because we weren't aiming to do animation in this one. Um, maybe in the future, if I think of like an animation to do, I'll show you how to do that. But for right now, just is just rigging stuff up. Um, I usually do export the physics, user data, and information. I have it on three. I think you could do it on four, but I, I've always had it on three. Um, yeah, usually I just kind of, these are my defaults. And then I have a chibi fox. I'm going to dump all this into, so we're going to save. And that's this folder right now. And we're going to watch things just flow into there. Watch things flow into the. Give it a second. It takes a minute. There it goes. There we go. That's what we want. Also, um, file save. Don't look at my background. <laughs> I got to. I got a really, a really uh, 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 busy background. Because I always put my temp files on there before I organize them. And I wait until it spills over into my second monitor before I organize them. 
All right, so now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're going to go into uh, uh, the viewer. So when you go in, when you downloaded this thing, you'll have a folder. To be live, you need Cubism. I have 3.2, 4, and 1. Uh, and you're gonna want the viewer for whichever one you're using. I'm gonna bring this back over here. And it should have this little window pop up that says, please drop your Mach 3 or uh, Model 3 JSON. So we're just gonna take this and go flat. to load in and there we are yay um and we have like you know our stuffs some physics and stuffs and what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh expressions and the first one is going to be ida i'm gonna name it ida okay and then I'm going to, I'm just going to add in all the names. So I'm going to kind of like open up uh, this and go through and each one of these I'm going to kind of like put as their own. I'm going to just put this over here uh, so I can kind of glance. Um, I'm going to add an expression and I'm going to call this one X eyes, X eyes. I'm going to add expression and this one's Shock. Shock. And I'm going to add expression. This is going to be shine. Uh, shine. Shine. And then this one I'm going to add expression. And this will be comfy. 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 Okay. Uh, now that we have those, what we do is we click on one of them and we're going to see these are um, our parameters. So if you remember back when we had these, like these are all the parameters we have here, we have access to over here. Um, and so we've already set up what we want. So we have Ida here and we're just going to turn it on. And that's Ida expression. For the X size, we're going to come down here, we're going to find the X size and we're just going to turn it on. Here we go. <laughs> And for the shock, we're going to just kind of go find it. Uh, shock's here. And turn it on. And granted, you could do other things too if you really wanted to. Like if you wanted to have the mouth in a certain position, you could put it in the certain position. Like if you were like, a, uh, you wanted to go, ah. Oh. Like you could do that. I'm not going to. Uh, because I still want to be able to talk. Uh, and for the shine... We're gonna go down and find the shine. And get the shinies. And for the comf, I'm gonna find the comf. And turn on the comf. Comf! <laughs> Who doesn't like some comf? Comf, 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 comf. Alright. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can also add uh, poses and stuff as well. Yeah. I'm going to just click my update and I'm going to just double check all of them. It look good. I close. You want to save? Yes, save. Uh, and I just hit yes. Yes, I want to override it. Yes. Uh, and then it adds all these extra for that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, now we can eat it into a folder for um, this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is when you open it up, uh, it usually loads in with a default model. Uh, but you'll have something like this down here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I always go to import my own model and open folder because I hate hunting for this folder. And ta-ta... So I'm going to take this, uh, this chibi fox folder. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add, add a new folder and I'm going to call it, uh, chibi or gamma fox. Open it up and all the files from this other one. So all these files, I'm just going to drag and drop. One other thing I can also do is I can open up the, 
uh, Chibigama uh, original folder file, which I'm sorry you're seeing like a message here, but okay. Um, so we can open up the original. Uh... Ugh, come on, it's stuck on one of my other monitors. Hold on. Okay, so we can open up. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry, this uh, my my tablet has a different aspect ratio. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just merge all these real quick, and I'm going to grab this. I'm holding shift to make sure it's a perfect square. Kind of grab, I'm gonna crop it, and then I'm gonna go file, save as PNG go to the TV Fox and I'll just save it as that. Got it? You'll want it as a PNG. Uh, and then make sure you save it. Uh, and then you can close it out. I do, don't save. Don't, don't save that part. And we don't need to worry about that. <laughs> uh, and then make sure that that TV Fox PNG gets transferred over here. Okay? Okay, good. Now, load it in. Ha 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 ha. So we come over here. Uh, do we have Chibi Fox here? We do not. So we're just going to, I don't know, load a different, a different model briefly. Excellent. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going to come back over here and then the Chibi Fox should be here. All right, and so this one hasn't been set up yet, so we're going to do... We can set it up ourselves or we can do an auto setup. I'm going to do an auto setup. Uh, yep, that's okay. Ah. Um, and you'll notice, like, the eyes are a little, like, Whoa. All right, I'm going to turn off this little one because we don't need it right now. But it kind of gives you an idea of what we're working with. Uh, so let me, let me give us a background. Just because backgrounds are nice, right? Yeah, look how cute that background is. Yes! <laughs> um, so I'm going to come over here into settings. And I'm going to see what we got going on. So we are... Alright, so I'm still connected to my phone. Uh, I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi right now. open mouth sensitivity so we can adjust like I like I think the eye sensitivity is a little much right now and for other things on this like you kind of mess around like this thing right here is pretty cool it'll grab colors from your desktop and apply them in whichever window you have because I have three um, and it'll apply it so let's um actually do I even have this on uh, yeah, so it's kind of like applying to what it sees in that window. And you can adjust the brightness and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's moving. And so you'll see it kind of like adjust briefly b between windows. The color yeah anyways i'm gonna turn that off i don't really want that that's not actually what i'm here for i'm here for this okay first things first is i'm gonna grab this icon remember that that png we just made it was like that and then we have a face there <laughs> um so this movement here i really don't like because it makes my model float around so i turn that off so now i don't move now i'm pretty stationary so i'm not just floating around and honestly unless you're like a bird or something i really wouldn't wouldn't whatever um we have physics strength here where we can adjust them individually um, so you see how, like, the hair moves and stuff, the tail? I can, like, max that shit out, and it fucking freaks the fuck out. <laughs> uh, I can even add a win, so there's a constant movement. It's kind of cute. Um, maybe I'll put the win down there. Or you can hit the, the setting, and you can actually adjust for each one, like, if I really want to, like, make my, the highlights really bouncy. Uh, I could do that. Um, I could increase the sideburn movement a little bit. Um, if I want the ears a bit more, like, wiggly. They're a little wiggly. Uh, if I really want the drawstrings really, like, wah, 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 wah. I could, and, like, the tail, I could go, like, ham. But, honestly, the, 
it's fine. Um, so for setting up like this, and, and if you're doing this for someone else, like really this is on them, but if you're doing it for yourself, you might need to understand how some of this works. Um, so uh, face angle X, you know, the back and forth. Uh, what you do is you kind of like, you face forward and you kind of see where your face forward is and then you can turn. And like, so my turn is at 30, 30 38. I'm going to put this at 38 because that's where my turn is. And this way is about 20. So it basically means when this reaches 20, it's going to register it as negative 30. When this reaches 38, it's going to reach it as negative 30. Um, and we have like the up and down. So we have like up, which I can do up all the way. Let's see, up. 28 and then down at 20 is fine uh the lean mm. and mind you the body itself moves with the head like it doesn't actually track your body so this is like a negative 30 yeah that's good this is like 20 i'm gonna go 25 Uh, and the eyes open. That's the one I really want to work on because you can see, like, I keep going into like shock eye. Um, and what I'm looking for is like how, like this. I, I definitely don't want it. I want it two. I think. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna need it for. Oh, that's a smile. I want this one at one point two two. Uh, and then when I do shock eye, I'm gonna. All right, so this is. I want this to be like a shock eye. Oh, that's a smile. Hold on. So maybe like a point point eight. Let me go point nine. Yeah, so that looks good for that. And over here, I'm gonna do also 0.9. Because what I'm doing is uh, I'm I'm doing like a shock eye right now. And it's like really hard to get up to one. Uh, but I don't want it too, like, too low because I don't want to constantly look like I have shock eye. It's just more like. <gasps> uh, and we can do the same with a smile. Like we're gonna normal. It's kind of here, and then smile is like here. So I'm seeing like a point three for normal, and for the right, yeah, about point three. Uh, if you do it less, like I had it, it'll go into the uh, smile sooner. Uh, but this is good. This is kind of where I want that. Um, oh, I think I did the eyebrow backwards. Nah. I don't know. We're going to try to check it out. But this is what, what I do. As I go through. And I look. Like, this way is a uh, negative 7. Point seven, so maybe I will change this to a point eight. And it's a little harder for this way, so I'm gonna kind of just yeah, that's, that seems good. Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um. It's really hard to do these. I kind of have to adjust my head, like move my head up and look down. Like it's easier for you guys to see than not for me to see because I'm literally moving my head. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I think I got the um, right brow form backwards. So if I want to fix something and I've already exported, I'm going to show you how in a minute. Um, but let me let me finish doing uh, setting up. So we're just going to go through and set up a little bit. So what I'm doing here is um, I'm trying to figure out what I want my def uh, default mouth to be. And um, I kind of have like a resty bitch face. <laughs> so um, like as you can see, like so what, what this is showing, uh, in case you don't really understand what this is, um, this is showing its range of what it sees. Um, so when I frown all the way, I'm at like 1.2. And when I smile all the way, I'm at like 1.05. So I'm going to change this to 1.05. Um, and then it converts that to where it is over here. So two should be the max. Ba 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 ba. Yeah. All right. So I'm I'm kind of, you know, trying to gauge where my mouth would be so my neutral is this sad happy um and i and since my max is two and my uh minimum is two like you can adjust that to match it because i've already adjusted it in the program to kind of match where i want and this is kind of showing you where this is on this scale Like that blast past that but that's fine because i have to like really force that open and we're gonna do the same with the mouth open and remember we did a um when we did our live 2d here for the mouth we had this special like point two that will keep it closed so that way we don't have to worry about too much here so as long as we're under point two here we should be fine And 95 seems to be as about as wide as I can go. My close is 0 0.03. Why is my max 2.1? That just doesn't sound right. Open was 1. So let's change this to I couldn't I can raise this to go to like 1.5 or even 2 so it thinks that it's much further up there so I um, have my mouth open a bit more um, yeah let me actually put that at back at 2 I, I like the way it looked when it was at 2 so I'm going to keep it at 2 um blushing oh I guess I did all right I want point five to make sure it's off so that way the blush only comes on when my cheeks go like really like yee <laughs> so when I'm it's more in smile mode ha <laughs> now yeah. good uh, and then we got the body rotation which is gonna do the same as like the head we turned it this way we have like a negative 38 and then this way we have about a 24 Whatcha, whatcha, whatcha. Was it 10? I thought it was 30. What is our... Oh no, it was 10. Alright. 10. 10. Alright, those are all 10. Oh yeah, so that's just back and forth. The body, yep. Uh, Y is the up. So we're doing it at like 22. And then the down. Um, and 
then we have the Z. Yeah. So this one actually goes to like negative 35. That's interesting. So it's because you're moving like your whole body a bit more. So it kind of turns the head a little bit. So, yeah. And we have auto breathing on. So you can kind of see the little breath right here. We got see us breathing a little bit. Yeah. 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 All right. That's good. Um, now we're going to come over here into the expression editor. Um, and we're going to do a new expression. Select. Ha 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 ha. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Hold on. Uh, create a new hotkey for unused expressions. I guess we'll do that one. Five new hotkeys. Okay. Alright, so it's it's added them in for us. So we can create now hotkeys. And apparent there's even ways to where you can um do gestures. Uh so the webcam will show I don't have it on, but um where you can actually kind of like trigger hand motions and stuff to you know, whatever. I'm not gonna do that. Uh so we can either select the key, we can record the key, you know, we can go in and search for it. Um for comfy I'll do numpad seven ah. and then we hit it again it goes ah. <laughs> away um actually you know which one i would like for that like zero for that ah. yeah okay that's good uh irritated i'll do numlock one for shine i'll do numlock two for shocked i'll do numlock three and then for XDIs, we'll do number like five. Uh, and now they should all be like set up. Ha! <laughs> ha! Yep. Um, and then. Uh, that's just me hitting both buttons at the same time. Um, and if we really wanted to, we could do XC angry. Um, at least, well, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do expression editor, new expression, select. This is something that this program does. And we're just going to call it uh, X angry. And what we're going to do is we're going to do eat up. And then we're going to do excise. All right. Yeah, excise. Meh. Save. So it almost skips a step. Uh, I'm done with this. Uh, X. X and key select. Okay, save. Um, so expression select. Okay. Uh, but if you don't use this program, I don't think this is really something that you uh, have. So that triggers both of them at the same time. Or I could just hit, you know, the one and the five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so I think that's pretty much the set of... Oh, I gotta fix the eyebrow. So let me show you how you do that. Um, so we go back um, in here. I'm going to go back to because... This is the this thing right here. Uh, so let me grab this, figure out where no, it is on this directly. I'm gonna hit the down and I'm gonna go adjust. And what I did is I accidentally have it backwards, so I'm gonna have this as a one point zero enter, and then this one is going to be a negative one point zero enter. And then you hit OK. Now it's flipped, and that should still be the same. And then we just go and we just re-export it. Uh, we don't have to do the expressions again. I'm going to save it back into that chibi folder. We still have that chibi folder um, right now. And this is the folder that we've been working with. Um, let me jump back over into a different model because it's going to need to kind of like 
uh, refresh it, if you will. All right, so that's there. And then we're gonna take this, and we're gonna just grab it, um, drop it, and we're gonna replace. Yes. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Ah. <laughs> And for those of you who haven't actually seen my full model, this is what I look like. Um, but let's go over here. We're going to go into our chibi model. And you notice that icon's down there. That's because we added the thing. Uh, yeah. And then we fix the eyebrows. Yay! Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you're going to stream with this like I do, I'll just show you quickly how you do that. Is you, um, so you'll notice I don't have a little dude over here. That's because I have, uh, I have paid for that thing to be removed. But um, when you go into the background selector, what you do is you can go to color picker. You just select and then you hit this transparent. And you can do any color you want, but black works best. Um... Uh, I don't know how, I don't know why, actually, it's not even know how, I don't know why it, it does that. You can click that off and then, uh, yeah. So now we just have these, yeah. <laughs> but it, it just, it works best when it comes to that. So yeah, uh, that is how you do. Let me get all cozy, yeah. <laughs> but that's it for, uh, being, um, or my bare basics beginner live 2d tutorial i've pretty much showed you everything i haven't showed you animation it's a little bit a little bit something else I, i'll get to it on my next round there's still more tutorials to come uh they're just kind of going to be here and there for like extra things like how to do physics on certain things or how i do physics on certain things how to do the animations and so forth but that being said thank you so much for joining me on this uh, I hope you've learned something. I hope I helped you out. If I have, please give this video a like. Um, please subscribe for more from me. Whatever it may be, be it tutorials or just random gaming shit. I really appreciate all the support, uh, especially those who come check me out over on Twitch. Um, I'm trying to really get up to the... I'm really trying to get to partner this year. I don't think it'll happen, but uh, please help me with my goal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would mean so much. <laughs> um, also, I forgot what my uh my triggers are. Yeah, <laughs> it would mean so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this. Uh, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next videos. Uh, all right, bye, bye.